I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fang claws coming out through, three inches long, you know, just sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. So, is anyone actually buying the Stadia? I'm not. I'm not either. And I don't know anyone who is. I, yeah, I really don't. I don't see the point in buying it, to be totally honest. No, like, the selection and the way it works is just I, I'm not going to lie. I haven't even looked at the selection on the Stadia. Uh, there isn't. Uh, there... Games without a console or downloads. But you have a console. Yeah. Y- you have a console. Just because... Just because it's a fucking, just because it's a, a Chromecast doesn't mean that it's not still technically a console. Yeah, I mean that's true. <laughs> it's very true. What? All right, let's see what they've got. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Don't really care. Attack on Titan Two. Found. I found out that the Attack on Titan guy might be a, a nationalist. Oh, yeah. That's always a fun thing to learn. Yeah. Uh, always Baldur's a fun Gate, thing to learn. Yeah, it's it's fun. Borderlands 3 is okay. Cyberpunk yeah. so is hasn't come out yet. Uh and got the they got the Doom games, so I mm-hmm. guess they got that. Uh I'm not yeah. seeing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate though. No. <laughs> I doubt that they would have that. No, I highly doubt they would have that. Uh let's see. The games that I know are good are Thumper, Super Hot, Red Dead Redemption 2, Redemption, uh, the Doom games, and I'm assuming Borderlands 3 is decent because the other Borderlands are pretty fun. Yeah, but, they have no, uh, they have zero like new triple triple A games though. Well, yeah, because they're never going to get that because because they're, they're Stadia. Never, yeah, they're never going to last long enough for that to happen. <laughs> That's Although, a, a vote of confidence. I mean, well, Google Google has this thing where they can just throw money at a problem until it's. I mean, that's something true. Something kind of works, so who knows? That's very true. Um, I mean, but then again, they also don't have a killer app that draws people to it, right? Like, at the very least, uh, let's see, Xbox had Halo. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, if it wasn't for Halo, the X, the original Xbox would not have succeeded at all. Um, and Halo was a like, that's my jam. Yeah. yeah. Um Nintendo has Mario, Legend of Zelda, all that stuff. You know, and like even even the the handheld consoles usually don't even wouldn't even sell until a Pokemon game came out. Yeah. Like the 3DS was an unmitigated disaster until the new Pokemon game came out. Oh yeah, and then you've got Study over here and their their whole thing is that they don't do games. You just stream yeah. other people's games. It's it's kind of weird to be so, totally honest. Why get it? Because you know no company is ever gonna put out like an exclusive on Stadia, except for like the one that I think they might have, and no yeah. company is gonna release on Stadia a AAA game on the same day as on their platform. Yeah. Also, uh, I have a I have a Steam Link. I have not used it in about two years. Oh yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but same thing. I think I mean, we got it on the same sale. <laughs> uh, I think I got my no, I got mine as a cr- uh, birthday present. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine was a birthday present because I was moving to my new house. Yeah, and I asked for that for my birthday because I wanted to be able to play video games on my couch. Yeah, sounds like a good uh, idea. Yeah, uh, it was cool for about three seconds. Then the novelty wore off. It was like I'd rather just have a mouse and keyboard to play these games. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, you know, n- normal stuff. Mm-hmm. The um, talking about Halo though. Yes. Halo Reach is fun on the PC. I just started. I played for a little bit last night. Um. Yeah, it's we have, fun. 
We have to change that and make it... Oh, you played 72 minutes recently. I didn't realize you played. You should have texted me and let me know. I'll play. <laughs> I didn't know if you were up or what. Like, I went what and saw the Nutcracker, it? and then we walked across the street and saw a metal show, and then we came home, and then I played Halo Reach. <laughs> how... How, uh... how far? Well, well, what did you play? Did you play multiplayer or did you play single player? I wasn't ready player? for I, I'm my uh, my twitchiness and all that. I'm not up to like live play yet. I don't think I haven't played PUBG in a little bit. Okay, you know what really sucks though. I've been about, playing a lot of uh, Pokemon. Yeah, that's, that's like fair. that takes away from your first person shooter skills. It does. It's a it's a proven fact. You know what's the worst part though about the Master Chief Collection? No, what's that? My fucking my my Xbox Live account name is still the name that I have to use. <gasps> that. Mine is too. I hate it. It's the worst. I forgot my account name. I put in my email and password, and it goes, yeah. "Welcome back." I'm like, "Oh no, no." Which one is it? Is it Project Insanity or Pork and Beans? Pork and Beans. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you bought the did you buy the Master Chief collection or did you buy just the the collection? Uh, you bought the collection. Yeah, I, I bought the collection too because I'm like, there's no reality in which I don't want to play Halo Two once it becomes available again. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Although that being said, um, ODST is a pretty good single player experience. Is it? And yeah, I'm Halo to check it out. Halo 3 was weird because it was a fairly balanced game. Yeah. I mean, there's people that I met at your house playing Halo 2 that I still know today, back when we were... I don't even know. That's... Uh, like 13? Yeah. Like roughly. near... Yeah. On almost, but not quite, two decades ago. Yes. <laughs> Over 15 years. <laughs> yes. Nightmarish amounts of time. Yeah. Like, oh, man. blow out my voice screaming at people during a LAN party in your basement. <laughs> Well, actually, what happened was I had, so, I think it was originally Halo. I think it was Halo you guys were playing. It was Halo 1. 1. That's right. It was the first Halo. And the fact of the matter is, um, you guys were playing it. I had gotten it, right? Um, I don't remember why I had gotten Halo 1. Uh, I wasn't particularly interested in it. It wasn't like a craze at our school yet. You know, there was nothing... Nothing about it was like, ooh. The killer app for me was Jedi 2, Star no. Wars uh, Outcast. No. The, the Jedi On thing. Xbox? That was the thing I was... You're a bad that's person. That's what I wanted. You're that's a what bad I wanted. human. Brandon. Brandon. That's what I wanted. Your okay? case is bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> Sorry for being a kid who likes Star Wars. I mean, I also <laughs> was a kid that liked Star Wars. I've already got tickets for the new one. I haven't gotten my tickets yet. When are you going? Uh, opening day, 8.30 at really? the NCG. Ah, oh, Jesus. I I, I want to go, but I also don't want to deal with people. But that's the thing with the NCG is um, the th- theater closest to me is that you already have the tickets, so you don't have to wait in line to get tickets. You already have the seats, so you don't have to show up early to try to get like a good seat. Mm. So as long as you pre-order online, there's no reason to like avoid it on opening day. That's fair. I remember going to see, when that used to be a Regal, I remember seeing Harry Potter in that yep. theater, and it was a nightmare. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, I totally believe nightmare. it. I also saw, like, all the Pokemon movies that made it into theaters in that theater. There's, I think I only saw the one Pokemon movie with uh, Mew. I saw the Mew Pokemon mo- I saw the first Pokemon movie, Pokemon 2000, which is my jam. Okay. The B-52s, the B-52s, you know, Love Shack. Yeah. Yeah, they they sang a song for that movie. Oh no! Let me let me find it, really quick. Uh, Pokemon two thousand. Um, it's called the Chosen One, and it's by the B fifty twos. Oh, and it's I'll have to check that out. Well, I'm sending it to you, so you don't okay. have to look hard, far. Okay. Um. So, for people who haven't seen the Pokemon movie, which I guess conceivably people Pokemon 2000. I guess conceivably people wouldn't have seen it because I don't think our our demographic completely encapsulates Pokemon lovers. Yeah, no, I'm not a fair sure. Amount. Um, 
So there's a prophecy in Pokemon 2000. Okay. That has a punny uh, conclusion where the world were t- will turn to ash. And everyone assumed that the world would be destroyed. But nope. It's uh, Ash Ketchum. Oh, of course. And of course. This, this song is literally the B-52s speak singing that prophecy. That's so in good. Traditional B-52 fashion. They're all it's it's Oh yeah, you're correct. It they're speak singing. You're speak so singing correct. A prophecy. And it's You're it's, so correct. Oh man. Uh, it's one of those things that I like hold on to and absolutely cherish about yeah. the night. Like, because this is, even though it's Pokemon 2000, because it came out in 2000. That's still, uh, 2000 was just still, the late 90s. It's just the late 90s. It's like, it's like a crystallized 90s thing. Yeah. And the, the link that I sent you also has a, a checkerboard ska pattern as well. Yeah. Which makes it even better. <laughs> like I am just absorbing the nineties into my soul. Oh. And it's just it's absolutely phenomenal. That mm-hmm. movie's also really weird. There's I believe it. I haven't seen it, but I believe it. Yeah, the 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 um the the Pokemon movies are just weird in general. The first one's really strange. Um, because of all the cloning stuff. I liked it. Which, I, I also liked det- Detective Pikachu a whole lot. Detective Pikachu was phenomenal. And I will fight anyone who says it wasn't. Yeah. Um, like, it was, so, oh, it was, oh, I've got some funny shit. All right. So, Detective Pikachu was great. Yeah. And that's my excuse to force Erica to start playing the Pokemon games, who, okay. which, that's going to happen. Like, as soon as it snows, I'm like, listen... Grab the wine. You're ma- you have an account on the Switch already. You're playing Pokemon. And okay. then so that's gonna go down. And then um what else? Oh, we're going to see uh Star Wars with some people. And uh Yeah. Apparently I had a interesting reaction when uh the new Star Wars movie came out and uh she said something along the lines of what's there's that Baby Yoda meme posted everywhere around work, but I only saw the one Star Trek movie. So apparently I reacted weird, and then... Uh, yeah, that's fair. She texted her boss, Uh huh. and her boss got back to her and was like, girl, don't do that, and then right away got like, was like, okay, so here's the deal. You, me, my husband, and Brandon uh, have tickets to go see it on opening day now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to at least make her watch, like any of the other ones she saw the previous one once uh the last jedi yeah and i do have disney plus just for the mandalorian which i haven't watched yet but i will i want to watch it so bad (laughs) i can pass along my account information (laughs) i i have a year free with my my uh my whatchamacallit um i have a year free with what's the word i'm looking for brandon your... Uh, my my Verizon account. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Also, uh, I just sent you one last link because I think we're hitting the fifteen minute. I mark. mean, that's fine. Word count wise, uh, this one was a little bit shorter of a copy anyway, but I wanted to do it because it was so good. So we were talking about the first Mewtwo movie, the Mewtwo movie. Uh, oh, Mewtwo. They're Strikes doing back. a horrifying thing where they're like just wholesale remaking the movie. In 3D. If you jump to minute uh, 58 seconds or so, or 57 seconds. All right, let's see. 50. I jumped to 55. Yeah. Make sure you pause on that and just take a look. (laughs) Let's see. (laughs) Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I got to say... Brock looks upsetting. He, he he does. That is a design that does not translate into 3D. No. Not, not at all. Not that kind of 3D. Not in the slightest. Cuz in anime at the very least you can say, "Oh, it's uh it's, you know, a um what you call it? It's 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 a, a a visual uh shorthand, right? Yeah. But in in 3D, it's like 
oh god, there is something actually wrong with his eyes. Somebody help him, please. There's like, he looks like he ate shellfish. Yes. And his eyes are just swelling shut. Yes. Well, that's the reason why he's a rock trainer. Yeah, I guess. Cuz he can't he can't uh he can't get anywhere near shellfish. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, so I guess at this point, uh, welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week, we will take you on a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling the tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, and that thing that definitely lives under your bed. I'm Brandon. I'm John. And, uh, yeah, if you don't know, we ramble by now up front. That's on you. Yeah, I mean, there are, what, this, this is 57? There's 57 yeah. episodes that, that prove that we're ramblers. Oh, yeah. We're so rambling, man. listening, cool. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that That's on us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so today's creature was first seen in 1891. It resides in Maine. It was last seen in 2002, and it resembles a moose. Stephen King. Stephen, <laughs> not Stephen King. It's in Maine. It's Stephen King. I, I don't care what you say. My my pet theory is it's Stephen King. I wouldn't be surprised if this shows up in one of his books. I would hope it would, because if it's if anything has ever happened in Maine, Stephen Stephen King has better. Had, if anything actually historically like cryptozoological has happened in Maine, he has better have written it in one of his coked out fever dreams back in the eighties. Oh, he better. I mean, Cujo was just about a dog. Uh, yeah. What was it? Christina was about a, a car. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, all of his cell all... was about a cell phone. I didn't read cell. I remember you I reading read cell. cell back in high school. It was. I actually liked it. Yeah. The um, um, what was it? And then of course there's that whole it that it scene that's been removed from both movies now. Oh yeah. Well <laughs> then there's. The it scenes from the books that never made it into any of the movies. That's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, man. Man, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Let me just say. Oh, it is. Because if, if you think that that's a good idea and for whatever reason your editors don't Yeah, the editors that. also have to have been doing something because... Yeah, uh, they're, they're, yeah. they're complicit. They're yeah. complicit. And if you want to know what it is, I'm not going to talk about that. We may curse on this show, but we don't get that blue. No. <laughs> no, we do not. Oh, man. So do you have any guesses outside of Stephen I, King? I, no, because it's Stephen King. Okay. Or t- it. Today, it might we're, be it. we're talking about the Specter Moose of Maine. Ghost Moose. I love it. I love it. I saw Ghost Moose, and I was like, listen, even if I'm maybe a few hundred words short of what I want, I can't not do Ghost Moose. I love it. I love it. It's really good. Oh, my God. The picture's hilarious. Oh, yeah. It's literally just a normal picture of a moose with a lens flare and the, it just inverted black and white colors. I have an honest question. So did you find this on a website? That that picture? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I did not make a custom picture of a moose. Because I want to know the person who made that and what was going through their mind. Like They, they didn't want to do the bare minimum for a, and just post a moose, but they also didn't want to do work. And I feel like that's how you get to where this person ended up. Yeah, like, I think I could probably do that in about three seconds in GIMP. Yeah, ditto. Because I think I think it's literally just an invert and then a lens flare filter on top. Yep. Actually, are you just gonna actively? Get I'm gonna, a, you you read. I'm I'm gonna make jokes, but give me a second. I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, you're gonna find a picture of a moose. I'm sure that's I've probably found one. in the top twenty images of Google. If you just put in moose, uh, I'm not even I'm not even looking for that. I'm I'm getting I'm picking a better picture. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so while you work on that. Today's creature was described as being an enormous moose 10 to 15 feet high with ghostly, dirty white coloration and brandishing an immense set of formidable antlers. The coat of the animal is sometimes glowing faintly. Uh, The specter moose was said to have an extremely acute sense of smell and hearing, as well as the ability to appear and disappear at will, 
at will and phase through objects. Huh. Well, I mean, it's a go if it's a spectral moose, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, just a straight up ghost moose. Yeah, that would. I'm gonna actually do a little bit better than that. I'm gonna do two moose. Like a Scooby Doo ghost moose. Oh, you're doing two moose? How many lens flares? You better go, Michael Bay. Oh shit. Wait, does I don't Gimp know if do I'm gonna actually flare? be able to save this because my key is broken. Oh. Control S. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Yeah. So back in 1891, an extremely large mo white moose was first seen in Maine by Clarence Duffy of Old Town, a hunting guide who was working around Lobster Lake. Though so he can I yeah. can I stop you for a second? Go for it. Old Town. Old Town. Why? Okay. I know that there's other places called Old Town, right? Yeah. Um, but like, why? Why? Why not? I don't know. Why? Uh, I know. But, like... That's just low effort. They like, could have just went who, with town. Or if they rebuilt does... it... You know what? Maybe there was a town. They made a new one next to it, called it New Town. And then that original town was like, you know what? Let's just go old town. Let's lean into it. Okay, Brandon, I did it. You did it? <laughs> I'm done. Done? <laughs> <laughs> You better uh, copy and paste that shit somewhere into the copy. <laughs> I will. Just give me a second. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to... It actually looks like almost exactly like it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did literally three th two things to it. Yeah. Again, Let me minimum pop it right effort. There. Oh, man. It's literally oh, John. It's almost identical. That is the same. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> yeah, so if you're one of the people that has access to a copy, the second extremely large picture of a moose is John's. Uh, which, why Why not? Are you, does, go ahead and type, like, John's moose or something <laughs> next to it. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do parentheses here. Uh, John's moose. There we go. That's, Mossy? A, that's a way to spell moose. That's, no, I mean, yeah, there we go. Not capitalizing my name. I'm a proper noun, Brandon. <laughs> Damn it. I haven't lived this long to not be a proper noun. I'm not a proper noun. Not even in my own head. <laughs> I like how you, I like how you placed, uh, quotes around the moose. It, Cause it's a ghost moose. I think I, I think honestly I did a pretty good job for something I did in three seconds. Yeah, I, I did pretty good replicating. You did a uh, pretty good job. It was it was pretty it's pretty close to what they did. Yeah, I think I think we got it figured that's out. That's dead on. I think the only they did a black and white before the invert. I think maybe and that's I think the so only, too. But that gave yours like all this cool blue on the grass in the background and all that. Like I think I like yours a bit more. I can make it black and white first, but I'm not going to do it. No, that's. That 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 doesn't that doesn't help me. <laughs> I think they also like did a deform on the background or something. I don't know. They, oh, they put, oh yeah, I see it. it. It's really stupid what they've done. Yeah. I see what you're getting at. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, though he did not get near enough to the animal to take a shot, he could see him plainly horrified by the encounter. When Duffy told his story, he was laughed at. However, a few months later. A Bangor lumberman named John Ross, who was also at Lobster Lake, also saw the big moose. With this second sighting, some people began to believe. <laughs> All it takes is two, John. All it takes is yeah, two. Yeah, it just takes two people to believe. Like, uh, I guess I guess that works for reptilians, so uh, why not work for spectral meese? Yeah, why not for spectral meeses? Yeah, which is the correct plural form of moose. It is. It's mo me. one moose... Three Mises. Mises. Yeah. Weird, though, it's two Mooses, so I don't know. It's two Mooses, yes. One Moose, it's two Mooses, three Mises, and then a, uh, I don't know why, but it's a, uh, I was trying to come up with something I couldn't. It a died. A murder of Moose. A murder of Moose. It's a murder of Moose. Imagine, sometimes the names for, for groups of animals are the most insane thing, because it's like a murder of crows, like, literally. So yeah. what's a group of moose called? Probably moose. It's probably all moose. Uh, a horde. A gumption of mooses. It's a herd. A herd. Oh, uh, that's lame. It's, it's a hooved animal. 
Yeah. Lame. Weird animal group names. I'm doing this. Go for it. Oh, okay. So my favorite already. A, what is a group of, of apes called, Brandon? Orgy. A shrewdness. A shrewdness of apes. A group of bats. This one you might know. Orgy. A cauldron. A cauldron of bats. Yeah. That's so good. Uh, so cats have a lot of them. Okay. A kid of cats. So cats have three and kittens have three. A horde of kittens. A murder so of for, kittens. For kittens, there's a kindle of kittens. A kin- okay. I, don't, I don't get it. A litter, which is obvious. Or an intrigue. <laughs> an intrigue of kittens. Oh, I want to go play with an intrigue now. And then a group of cats could be called a clouder. A cl- I don't know where that came from. <laughs> That's good. A pounce or a glaring. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Um, oh, wait. No, elk have... So moose do a, have a kilo of a elk. special name. It's a gang of elk. A gang of elk? <laughs> it's like, hey, we're the, we're the gutter snakes. <laughs> We're grazing over here. Hey, this is our turf. Get out of here. There's, you don't know what these antlers have done. I've seen shit. Really. Tony shits a lot. <laughs> What's your Bristol stool number? It's about a one. Oh. It's not great. It's not great. <laughs> Bad times. So um, it, yeah, uh, one because uh, this is just a a, a a rabbit hole I've gone down. The 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 last one that's really insane. Yes, is porcupines. Guess what? A, a group of porcupines can be called. It's got to be a prick. It is. A, it's a prickle. It's a prickle. It's a prickle it's of a porcupines. Prickle. <laughs> it's uh, a prickle of porcupines. Oh, and it's an ouchie of urchin. <gasps> what? Wait, go on. Salamanders. A, a, a sizzle, a, sizzle, a slime, a, sli- a slime, a, 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 a wiggle. It's a, a, sli- a slide. I, uh, I don't know, but I'm excited. A maelstrom. A maelstrom. A maelstrom. Okay. Like dragons, I assume. Maybe. That's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy. You These, just this should was, be. This, this was a vein of things that made me happy. And this is all coming from Mother Nature something. Okay. I don't know. I'm just going to be... You can keep so, going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... If I find keep, anything keep reading. funny. So that same year, a New York hunter saw a big noose <clears throat> near Sordenaholt Lake and fired several slugs into the animal without the least apparent effect, with the exception of making it angry. The moose then charged the man who took refuge in a bear cave, where he remained for about an hour before the large animal sauntered away. I like that it saunters. A lot of hip movement. Yeah. Well, when you're that big, you tend to saunter. True. Somebody said, I ha- I have a saunter. I also have a walk, I think. Yeah. So someone commented on it. They said... I, they. They went to a training somewhere and they said, yeah, our instructor walked the same way you did, you do. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Hmm. And they also had, uh, not the first time I was in the mall and, uh, the, uh, person at the cash register asked where I was from. And I was like, here, cause I guess I have an accent that I'm unaware of. Why do we, why is this a thing? And I might have brought it up on here before, but that's not the we, first time that's happened. We've definitely brought that up on this podcast. I think it was the last episode. Yeah. Even the um, uh, so you were at the you were at the like dead mall though, right? Yes. Okay. The dead it. mall. The like super dead mall, like yeah, a shell of what it was even a decade ago. Yeah. And the girl behind the cash register was like, "I hope you don't mind me asking, but where where are you from?" <laughs> it's like uh. What? He, I'm I'm from here. I'm just like down the road, whole life. <laughs> Honestly, I just I I at that point you can just mess with them. Mongolia. Yeah, I mean I should have said something. We're like yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Vietnamese. Estonia. Yeah. I'm Kazakhstan. Tra- Transylvania. 
<laughs> Uzbekistan. I'll make up, just make up fake countries. That country from Dilbert? I don't know what that is. I'm, uh, I'm from Bristolvia. God. My ranking is three. In Halo? No. In Bristolvia. Oh, in Bristolvia? Oh, I got get you. It? It's I get it. It's a callback. It's a callback. <laughs> I know comedy. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, however, these tales were still mostly discounted until a New York City sportsman, Howard Van Ness, not only saw the big moose, but also shot him several times in 1892. This event occurred about 30 miles northeast of Norcross when Van Ness, along with three other New York men, were hunting. Van Ness was separated from his companions when he shot the moose, which he described as weighed a ton and as tall as a camel with magnificent head and antler. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. Weighed a ton. I don't know how you know that. Sir, how do you, how know, do you know that? Know that? Looking? Also, if it's a spectral moose, it weighs nothing. Obviously. If it's a ghost, it doesn't have a weight. Unless you count the ectoplasm. Which, speaking of which, yeah. uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife looks amazing. It, oh, is that the new one? That's the new one. Oh, it has Finn Wolfhard nice. in it. Yeah. It's basically, it's basically what if Stranger Things and Ghostbusters were together. That's so good. Why is that so good? There's, there's four kids... Who are replaced? Who are basically they? They also throw shade at the uh, the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. Yeah, because uh, Paul Rudd, who's like the teacher character, mm-hmm. is like, "Wow, sweet replica!" Because he's they've got a ghost trap. Yeah, and they're like, "Sweet replica, sweet replica of what? It's a ghost trap, but no one's seen a ghost in 30 years." Because oh, is 30 I got gotcha. you. So they're throwing some shade. They're throwing some shade, but Paul Rudd, I love Paul Rudd. Uh it's also got a really, it's a really nice, like, homage to Sam Raimi, who's unfortunately passed away. So, because there's no way Egon can come back. He died, like, three or four years ago. What? Yeah. I want to say three or four. What? I was unaware. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I pay attention to, to what's happening to all the Ghostbusters actors, because I want to... Uh, no, not Sam. Oh, mm, no, Sam Raimi's still alive. Sam Raimi, the creator of the Spider-Man movies and Evil Dead. Um, what's the name of Egon's actor? That is uh, Harold Ramis. Yeah, yeah, he died in 2014. Oh, I was unaware of that. Yeah, he died, like, actually five years ago. Holy shit. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Um, so, it's based all like, uh, Finn Wolfhard and a girl, I don't know her name, Yeah. Um, are uh, playing as his grandchildren. Oh, Egon okay. Spengler's grandchildren, yeah. and that's the setup. And, like, they're, they're living in his old, like, property. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's how they find all the ghost stuff and yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. So after his shot hit the animal just above the shoulder, the moose let out a deep bellow and a grunt before coming after Van Ness, who took shelter beneath a tangled mass of fallen trees and branches. The moose then circled the area at tremendous speed and once jumped over his hiding place before giving up. So I want to say something here. All right. Um... This doesn't sound like anything other than a normal moose. No, doesn't because sound abnormal. A moose is a nightmare creature that They're is from huge. hell itself. Yeah. They're hell beasts. They are. And, like, they're tanks. They're tanks on stilt legs. Yeah. Like, we we luckily don't have moose around here, but if you hit a moose, you're probably dead. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll total a car. Yeah, easily. Yeah. A deer will total a car. Well, it depends on the car. Yeah. A, a moose will obliterate a car. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. It would total my car for sure, because I drive a, a four-door sedan, so. Yeah, ditto. <laughs> 
Afterward, many hunters began to look for the great white moose, but it wasn't seen again until 1895. At that time, a Bangor taxidermist named Granville Gray spied the moose at a distance. A few years later, in 1899, Gilman Brown of West Newbury, Massachusetts, got close enough to the moose on Roach River to count 22 points on one side of his antlers. Usually, so moose... is, that a, is that a 42 point <laughs> moose? Maybe 44. I don't know. Usually, <laughs> moose antlers rarely have more than eight to 12 points on a side. Brown also fired five shots at the large animal, which simply glowered at him and stalked majestically away. I am just imagining. It being like, like, like sassily walking away, like, you can't shoot this. Yeah, I'm picturing uh, whatever the Pokemon from Crystal was. Uh, Suicune? Suicune, yeah. Are you, are you thinking of Suicune or are you thinking of Xerneas? Oh, Xerneas X. I'm thinking of X. Okay, got it. Because I, 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 I understood where you were coming, like, because they're both blue. Yeah. Yeah. Xerneas was a weird fucking Pokemon. Yeah. Yavato was a weird Pokemon, too, for that matter. It was, like, literally a god of death. Yeah, which was badass. And, and then you could pump it into Pokemon of Me, and you could just pet it on its head, and it loved it loved head scritches. Uh, yeah, but everything loves head... I love head scritches. Like That's true. Uh, I'll do a lot for a head scritch. Yeah, they're just great. The Spectre Moose, called such because of its white or light gray coloring, is said to be uh, 10, 15 feet tall and weigh nearly 2,500 pounds and has an immense set of formidable antlers 10 to 12 feet across. Now we've got 22 points aside, 12 feet wide, um, compared to a male moose, like an average, your normal run-of-the-mill moose moose. Weighs well, eight to nine hundred pounds and stands about six feet tall and has an antler span of about four to six feet. This is a this is some like uh, unique monster bullshit from an uh, anime or or RPG. Yeah, it's a double moose. It's a double moose. It's a double moose is what they it is. They should have called it double moose. That would have been a better name. Yeah. Do have I you moose? seen the double moose? It there. comes for me in the night. <laughs> it's just watching through the window making weird sounds. It just likes to watch. I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> it just it, it never says anything weird. It just waits for me outside my cell at, waits for me outside my house and says, Hello, Gerald, and then walks away every day for the last month. It's weird because he leaves ectoplasm behind when he when he's gone. Oh. He must be a specter. <laughs> <laughs> he does this weird motion with his hooves, and then there's ectoplasm everywhere, and I just don't understand. I don't get it. I'm uh. so confused. Oh. That, that would be horrible. That would be terrifying. Like, the worst. Yeah. The, um, oh. The story gained national attention when it was described in a New York Times article in November of 1899. More sightings were followed in the coming years, with one reported in 1901 when a hunter from Boston, Massachusetts, spotted the beast near Chairback Mountain in Catahin, in the Catahin region? In the Cat- I'm going to go right. with that. It that sounds right to me. I don't care. Close enough. In 1906, George Neeland of Sherman, Maine, came close enough to the moose when he was bicycly down, bicycling on the road between Sherman and Makawak. At first, he thought it was a horse, but then he stopped to take a closer look. He was surprised to determine that, rather, uh, it was a very large white moose. You know, it's a weird thought. So, I mean, I have a lot point? of those. Yeah, I have a lot of them, too. Um, so is this the point in time where, where bicycles were bicycles and not units like those weird big wheel ones? In 1906, I think so. Because cause I'm like, there's a part of me that's imagining a guy in a back road riding one of the big wheel bikes, and he's just kind of like, do 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 Yeah, the, they're normal looking at that okay. point in time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're called, the thing I was thinking of is a velocipede. Uh, I want a velocipede. Yeah. I want to be that I, guy. I want to learn how to ride one. And then keep it in the basement until I'm like sixty, and th- then just be that weird old guy that that uh, goes around the neighborhood with a velocipede. Yeah, that's fair. Although being that being said, you could probably ride a velocipede or a penny farthing 
like literally right now in Kingston and no one would bat an eye. Oh yeah. It's reaching Kingston's reaching that point for sure. There's I went to see a metal band in a bar and never uh like the one, one of the few bars I've never been in before yesterday but and um Is that the one that used to have the uh the Blues Brothers on top of it? Yes. Okay. And I've seen that I've never been in that bar either. But then again, I haven't been in many bars. There's I thought it was like a punk bar beforehand and it was right across the street from where we were seeing the Nutcracker so I got a Actually, crazy delicious uh, barbecue tofu quesadilla there. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. But um, when I walked in, because I know the kinds of people that go there, or some of them at least, I was not mm. expecting barbecue tofu quesadillas and gluten free buns because I thought it was going to be like a, a ready. Um, I thought it was going to be like a dive. It was not like a dive. They like all their hot dogs have gluten free buns, they have tofu quesadillas. I mean, you're in, you're in Kingston. Kingston. Kingston has changed considerably and quickly because I'm still not yeah. used to thinking of it, thinking of it as like the hipster place, it's... but it's clearly the hipster place. And also, I've never thought of myself as a hipster, but I also have a beard and I'm wearing a sweater. So yeah, you also have a mustache. You have a beard mustache combo, and it's magnificent. But you're I think it looks weird well. to have a uh, a beard with no mustache. It does. It does. It does. Uh, I mean, my dad has a mustache with no beard, so... That's more normal than beard, no mustache, I think. Is it really? Yeah. I guess, I guess like, the days of the chin strap are gone in the goatee. I mean, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, chin straps were a weird time in our history. The, every once in a while, I still see, like, the pencil-thin chin strap on somebody. Oh, uh, that's worse. That's the worst. No. Like... No. Yeah. I hate it. I don't like it. You've described something that upsets John. Yeah, they're not great. It, it upsets me more than the, the ectoplasm coming from the spectral moose, which says a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, a moose with a pencil thin chin strap making ectoplasm? Oh, man. Milady. <laughs> oh. I, now I'm imagining. Now I want to Photoshop a, a fedora onto the moose I Photoshopped. Do it. Get a nice PNG with it's got a no background. Just drop oh, it right on. Remember, remember when I wore that cowboy hat because I thought it looked like Indiana Jones's hat for like yes. a solid couple of years. Yes, yes. Uh, people called me Cowboy John at college. I didn't want to be called Cowboy John because I wanted to look like Indiana Jones because he was my hero. <laughs> That it wasn't even a matter it wasn't even a matter of like trying to be as cool as him i just thought it was a cool yeah. idea like i thought he was a cool character mm -hmm. so i like did that thing that 18 year olds do where they get that weird affectation for a little while yeah and then i switched over to my pokemon hat which i wore all the time yeah and now everyone just comments near pokemon hat i don't wear it anymore that's probably why yeah because it's it, it that's a part of it. It also started to smell terrible. Oh, I wore it every as day. hats do. Yeah. As hats do. I'm afraid to wear my shovel and beanie. Or to smell my shovel and beanie. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. It's not yeah. worth it. It's not no. worth it. Not at all. No. No. So suddenly the immense beast charged at him, and Neeland was forced to climb a tree for safety. After investigating the bicycle, the moose vanished into the forest. Um, <laughs> I'm now imagining a moose riding a bicycle to investigate it. Like... Oh, uh, God. Uh, I don't get it. And he throws the bicycle away and he leaves. Yeah. So, in addition to its massive size, many of the reports describe the moose as glowing faintly and simply disappearing or walking through solid objects. Hunters often say they've never been able to get near enough to get a shot. And on a few occasions that they did, the animal was unhurt. So, I think they're or chalking they're that bad. up to the phasing. The yeah. bullets don't hit it because they just phase through it. Uh, in the following Super years, power. the moose would appear in waves of sightings, one of which occurred in 1917, only to disappear for years before it would be seen again. Though the albino moose are extremely rare, they do exist, and skeptics often attribute these sightings to albinism. In fact, there's an area of Ontario, Canada, that is called White Moose Forest due to the uncommon number of sightings of white moose, which locals call spirit moose. However, albino moose have eyes that are pink in hue, and the specter moose has brown eyes. Further, the size of these moose is an anomaly in and of itself. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. So Mises can also suffer from a condition caused by an infestation of winter ticks that caused the lightening of the animal's coat. However, this condition also causes the meese to rub off most of its hair, and their bodies are described as skinny and emaciated, which does not fit the description of our giant spooky moose. That kind of reminds me of, like, um... So that reminds me of uh, an episode of one of my favorite shows. Okay, Rick and Morty. Squidbillies. I adore Squidbillies. Oh, it's so good. it's it's the dumbest smart show I've ever watched. Yes. That is how I would describe it cuz it 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 definitely makes like really smart points, but it does it in the literal dumbest way possible. Yes. Um there's an episode of Squidbillies. Why is it only 6.5 on IMDb? They just don't get it. They're wrong. Um, so there's an episode where they have hogs. Yeah. And the hogs are like high on crystal meth or something like that oh dear lord and also thinking of is those hogs but i'm like imagining it as a moose so the yeah. moose is just like going around it's stealing mopeds oh yes to to pawn off in the in the forest pawn shop and you know get its get its next hit yeah and i don't know why but that's just like <laughs> that's really striking. That's that's kind of like the uh, the cyanide and happiness uh, cartoon where um, uh, it's it's Lady and the Tramp, but a homeless guy runs up and kicks Lady away, oh. and then just eats the eats the the uh, uh, like like the spaghetti and just keeps eye contact with Tramp, yeah. and There's, then comes back oh. with Lady's hat head on her his head and just kicks the Tramp. I. No joke, that made me laugh for like seven minutes afterwards. There's one side eyed in happiness that's burned into my memory, and that's the uh, Isle of Noodles. Yes. Yep. That was like their first uh, animated one. I know, and it was so good. Oh, it was <laughs> so good. That's peak aughts. That's peak aughts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, regardless of the skeptics, the locals take this beast quite seriously. Another rash of settings occurred in 1932, and then again in 1938, in the latter year. Most of the specter moose were seen in forests of the Chesnook region uh, along the west branch of the Penobscot River. Uh, one vivid report came from a hunter by the name of Houston. I think, I, I think that's Houston. Are you sure it's Houston? I think it's Houston, because that's how you spell Houston. But that's how you spell Houston, of like Soho? South Houston? In Soho, they call it Houston? I think that's, yeah. Like Soho is short for South Houston. But that's also how you spell Houston. I hate the English language. Yeah. A lot, because, cause like, yeah, it's Houston on wikipedia spelled exactly the same i right. hate english so it might be houston it might be houston it might be houston it i might don't know be hoobastank it might be hoobastank all right i get knocked down but i get up again is you're never gonna keep me down no that's not that's chumbawamba that? that's chumbawamba what is what does hoobastank do hoobastank did tell me because uh hoobastank uh the reason they did crawling in the dark. Yeah, inside of you, the reason what? Those are both two thousand nine, but his hair is very different. Well, because they they uploaded a bunch of it. Oh, it's this song. They did. Because uh, the reason is you. That's Hoopa Sank. Oh yes, they're terrible. Yeah, I liked them for a little bit. Well, uh, so a vivid report came from a hunter by the name of Hoobastank, who got a very good look at the beast when he came along a herd of about 16 meese with three males watching over the grazing females, grazing in a group with three males watching over them. That is... Okay, yeah. A weird that's phrasing. A, that's um, a weird phrasing. Yeah. Two of the males were large, healthy meese, but the third was of great size, making the others look like pygmies. 
in quotes, uh, and was of a white luminous coloration. When Hoobastank turned his back for a moment and then turned back around, the large white moose was gone, seemingly have vanished without a trace. So I want to I wanna commend you on your artful insertion of Hoobastank into that sentence. Oh, yeah. Um, second of all, uh, this sounds very, like, <laughs> force ghost to me. Oh, the moose force ghosted. Oh. Like, um, imagine if it's like it's like Vader, like after he dies and he turns good again and all that stuff. Yeah. Just you know, like watching over the other moose. Yeah. Like, I see you there. <laughs> I am a moose. I am the moose god. I am I moose. Balance to the meese. <laughs> There's, they don't wear cloaks, so otherwise they could do that cool, like, cloak vanish thing. Uh, other stories are even more bizarre. One tells of a group of hunters near the Malankis stream in east-central Maine that killed a large... I believe it's large... the Milanakis stream, the Andy Milanakis stream. Ah, yes, the Milanakis yeah. stream in east-central very... Maine. A... It's a small stream, but it has a foul mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> oh god that was such a weird time period because like i remember people being offended because they thought because he looked so much like a child but he was like in his late 20s early 30s yeah. or something he had like gary coleman disease or whatever yeah the, and mtv mtv was like yes he's oh, yeah. 43 he's what he's currently 43 Oh shoot! Yeah, yeah. Well, he huh. d wasn't he first on like the Man Show. Uh, or was that an actual little kid? Um, he started on AngryNakedPat dot com. It went viral. He went on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Then he started rapping on YouTube. This doesn't seem right. No, I, rem I remember some raps. Yeah. Uh, he had an EP called Gazpacho. Where is his filmography? He was in Waiting. Oh, yes, he was. I remember Waiting. Yeah, and he had his own show from 2005 to 2007. That Waiting was one you're like, wait, Dane Cook is in a movie, and then he just was an actor after that? Yeah, and then he stopped. Yeah. Like, there was a time period where David... Uh, or, or, what is his name? Dane Cook. Dane Cook was like everywhere. Wait, that's a wait. That's Ryan Reynolds and Dane Cook. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Reynolds was the main character. That's right. Yeah. No, Dane Cook was huge, and then his brother stole all of his millions of dollars from him. Yeah, I feel bad for him. He kind of got one of those like he got one. He gets a bad rap, but because of the type of humor he does and the type of personality he has. But from what I've heard, he seems like a fairly okay guy. He seems there's an interview with him, and he sounds like a really good dude. Like his, yeah. like I guess on like there's a period of time where like anybody who messaged him on MySpace, he'd like personally write back. Yeah, and all that were and that's still while he was big. He's only forty seven. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so the hunters killed a large white moose and afterwards they slit its throat and hung it from a tree overnight so they could skin and dress it the next day. However, when they woke the next morning, the white moose was gone. And that night, the dead and vanished moose simply walked into their camp with its throat still cut. What? The hunters shot at it again, but the moose was unfazed and walked away. It was later seen near Ashland, some 90 miles to the north, at which time it was shot again with no effect. So this is this moose is basically Moose Terminator. It That's the scariest thing I think I can think of. It's just like that, a yeah. moose with a cut throat. I honestly think of everything on this podcast, with the exception of the Ching La, Chang Lai star, Scarecrow. Yeah. That's the scariest thing. I mean, yeah, Scarecrows are just scary. Well... Blow up doll scarecrows are extremely scary. Oh yeah, um, because like imagine a Terminator moose, because mm -hmm. that's what you've just described is a Terminator yes. moose. Da 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 da. <laughs> the guy, the bullets do nothing, <laughs> and it's just a tank yeah. walking towards you. 
throat slit. Good lord. This is some, like, uh, this is some scary stories to tell in the dark shit. Yes. Uh, so some tales say that the moose makes an appearance when something bad is about to happen. This allegedly occurred in Franklin shortly before the town's restaurant burned down in 2002. The moose has since never been seen again. Uh, it died in the fire. It died in the fire. Uh, questions about this large creature remain today as to whether it is simply a very large breed of moose with a rare and anomalous color pattern, or if it is a mystical, ghostly animal that has roamed this region for over a century. In either case, the creature remains a local legend that has accumulated volumes of local lore over the year. I don't think it's any of those. I think it's normal moose and people are making up moose stories. I mean, people make up fish stories. Yeah. Um... Interestingly, though, it's it's kind of falls into the same category as Mothman and the Black Shuck in that regard, because they're both considered calamity bringers. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's like I like this is um this is kind of like a Joseph Campbellian way of looking at storytelling. Yeah. But there's not really that many stories. It's just different ways to tell the same story. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Um. Because at its core, it's kind of like the the monomyth, you know, mm-hmm. where every every story uh, every story is like every story but different. Yeah, which is such a cop out, I know, but <laughs> I know I, I'm I'm not afraid to cop out. No, right? me neither. We have to make we have to we have to research fully research episodes in two weeks. And yeah, do an hour and a half. I'll cop out when I need to. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, jeez. Um, where are we at? Oh, good. We're, we're pretty much right on time. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll do the the plugs and what have you. Um, as always, we're on CryptopediaCast.com. Our Instagram is CryptopediaCast. So is our Twitter. Uh, if you want to get in contact with us, you can add us on that those sites or email us at CryptopediaCast at gmail.com. I don't think anyone has ever emailed us. I emailed us. Yes, you did once. That that doesn't count. I don't I don't consider that. You emailed yourself, basically. Yeah. Uh, or us at CryptopediaCast.com. We have a Patreon, which... Uh, makes this show possible. Um, pays for the it website. Pays, it pays for the website. That is exactly what it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it lets us do some stuff. Uh, not a lot, but, you know, enough that we can, you know, keep things interesting. Um, also, we don't have to do ads because of the Patreon. Yes. That's the best part. And I like that because I don't have to look for ads. And I like that. I know they were fake, but uh, I like that because it turns very painful writing ad copy. Yeah, it does. For like the first however many, how many, how, when did we, when did I stop with the, uh, we have a, we have a spreadsheet that has 23, I went 23. I don't know how you did it. You did vague loves like three times though. Oh yeah, I did. There was Calcigon. Vague Loves, Quiet Liners, Anana Vape, Hema White, and Credit Soul, Follicure, Sleepatrix, Crazy Raiders, uh, Picton's Picks, Red Smock, Pogo's Pastries, Don- <laughs> that's a funny one, Donner's Party Supplies. That was a good one. I like that one a lot. Uh, Critical Thinking, Occam's Razors, uh, Tim's <laughs> Foil Hats, Bigfoot Darks, <laughs> Bathroom Breaks. That was just because I took a bathroom break, I think. Yeah, I think I, think I was just, uh, that was Skinwalkers. So I think I murmured about something during that one. Yeah, uh, Zodiac Code Crackers, Dirty Urns Waste Removal, and Squeaky Andy's Biosurfactant. Letter Wise was the number station. We stopped doing bits, too. Yeah. Like, we stopped doing bits, fake sponsors, and number stations, like, almost at the same time. It was Thunderbirds. Yeah. Thunderbirds was basically the, the point where we were just like, Nah, we're not gonna do that anymore. No, I think it came out. I think it's also where we sort of like started. Our format slowly started changing over time to just being like hour long, like rambles and talks, which I think seems more natural than our like shorter uh, stuff where we'd insert like uh, 
bits and uh, like fake sponsors and stations of that. Yeah, we we kind of basically just stopped doing the bits except for the one where I forget to read the thing. That's the uh, one. Yeah. Oh, is it my turn to? I bet you we're, not, we're talking about that because it's my turn to read and I forgot. Is, is it? Well, no, we haven't. I haven't <coughs> thanked. Uh, I haven't thanked. Clay oh, Sinclair we didn't get that far yet. Yes. Yeah. I was. Ta- we were talking about something, and I think. Oh, we were talking about ads. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If you enjoy the podcast, be sure to rate, review, subscribe. We're actually doing fairly well lately. Um. I yeah. think I think the Mothman. Hundred thousand. Yeah. The the we're hundred thousand. Yeah. We're at eleven thousand. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand? Hundred and eleven thousand. Am I am I missing something? Let me go to Podbean. I've never looked at the charts. <laughs> no. Like hundred thousand. I wish. That's a hundred times that's that's uh ten times what we've got. Four hundred thousand. We're at uh almost twelve K right now. There's every odd number gets like four thousand more downloads than the even numbers, which I found oh, weird. That's, that's weird. That's weird, yeah. Brandon. Yeah. It just so happens that those are the ones that you do. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Strange. Actually, we, we're back on the we're on the upswing. After we switched formats, we dropped about five hundred listens. Yeah. But that was mainly because we were only doing one episode a month. Yeah. Uh but we're back on the upswing. So oh, we're back up nice. to we our peak was fifteen hundred a month and then we're back up to this is really fun for people to listen to. Oh, I'm sure uh, they love all of this. Twelve hundred. Um yeah, we're actually in like we're getting close to the three hundred downloads per episode range. Okay. Yeah, which which honestly surprising to me. I mean, why? You should just. I'm sure everyone's turned it off by now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you have any monster requests or stories, send them in with sources. Yeah, sources I'm, always good. I'm reading a book for my next episode. I have vacation time, so hopefully I'll actually finish reading the book this time. Uh, it's actually I've talked to the author of this book. I'm not gonna have them on because they've they've been on, uh, they've been on too many podcasts talking about the book and they're kind of fatigued from it. But I I I, I have active conversations with this individual. That sounds cool. Over my long break coming up, I'm going to the DMV and a doctor, so that's gonna be fun. That sounds about right. That sounds about the things you do. I'm fixing all the various paint spots that my cat has destroyed around the house. Oh, nice. And replacing a tube on my dryer. Oh, nice. Oh, as yeah. a heads up, because I know we're, uh, a, like, you're going to need a new driver's license soon. If you want yeah. to be able to get on a plane, you're going to need to go enhanced license. Wait, are you I, aware of that? I have that. You have it enhanced already? Yes. I, I've had what? it enhanced for a decade. Wait, oh, you did that shit early then. Yeah, cause, well, because I went, because I, I was moving to Rochester. Yeah. And I wanted to have an enhanced license so I could go to Canada, which I never did. Okay. Um. So I did that real early, but yeah, I, I do enhanced license for New York State. I yeah. also have a passport, so. Yeah, well, you don't need one if you're just staying in country. Yeah, but if, if, if it's either, I think it's either passport or enhanced license. Yeah. So. So this is interesting, yeah. <laughs> but hey, everyone, uh, this is a, a warning. If you intend to fly, make sure you have the correct identification. Yeah. Because we have security theater in America. Yeah. Um, or you need your social security card and a birth certificate to get a driver's license. So fucking stupid. So dumb. Or or a or your passport. I don't have a passport, though. Mm, you should get one. Can you also do that at the DMV? You have to get your picture taken somewhere else. Usually, oh, you, there's okay. like a form you can sign. You have to send your you send your you send your birth certificate away with it, and they send it back to you. That's it scary. Go, yeah, it has to go through like all sorts of authentication yeah. processes uh, and such. And you don't you don't get to send a, a a copy. You have to send your actual birth certificate for whatever reason. Uh, I know. Yeah, it's it's a it's a whole thing. When I went to Canada, I had to do that. So that sucks. But I so got hard. to go to Vancouver, and Vancouver's beautiful. There's it sounds beautiful. I I took a lot of pictures. I think I did. I I don't know I if I shared them. With I don't you. think you shared them. Put that shit in your stories on Insta, man. Yeah. Well, we haven't we haven't get, hung get out. Get it for a lot the gram. Since, 
we haven't hung out a lot since I got back from yeah. Vancouver. Mm-hmm. We hung out at your holiday, your your, your one party. We got to yeah. do shit. You got we, time off, right? Yeah, I got time off coming up. All right. We'll do shit then. We will. We also have to play Halo together, but that's a different thing. That is going to happen in the very near future. Yeah, I'm. I'm. When I bring my computer back downstairs, I'm gonna start playing Halo. There's. Probably. I've got some chores to do, and and I'll probably try to get this edit. No, I'll edit this tomorrow. Uh, but I've got chores. I, I got chores to do too. I gotta go food shopping. This is a really interesting closing. Oh yeah, segment this is really people. just our normal conversation. This turned from like pies to just like us having a normal conversation. This is just us talking. Just like, like hey, normal- I want to play games, but first chores. <laughs> yeah. This is this is basically the past fifteen years, but a little more adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's so I, I don't know what we did or didn't say yet. Facebook group rates of stuff, yeah. monsters, uh, things. We're on uh, you. We're on you. I'm on don- I'm uh, Instagram donkey underscore hands. I have my website boyerb dot com. Uh, I stopped doing IMDb Pro, so I could pay for disney plus so my imdb page i think that all the pictures are gone or probably or something like that now but that was really just so i could like if anyone at a bar googled me i'd have an imdb page but i don't that's really fair. care about that anymore that's fair um email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com and twitter is at crypto brandon i just i love the fact that you you were like i had to stop because i wanted to have disney plus yeah. <laughs> um, on Instagram, I'm at Mew2057, and there's a lot of pictures of cats and Transformers. That's all I deal in. Um, explicitly. Explicitly. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at JF Dunham. You'll get your freshest hot takes on stuff that no one cares about. Uh, my website is johndunhamgames.com. You can email me at john at com. And recently, uh, I started a YouTube channel. Yes. Which I haven't done a lot on yet. I've only posted one video because I just had the urge to record. Um, I don't know if there's a snazzy link you can go to, but it's called Toy Office because I have an office filled with toys. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be posting uh, videos of my collection in the near fu- nearest future. Uh, mostly reviews, but I did a big long form, like hour long video where I just talked about the various stuff that surrounds me in my room when I do yeah. recording for the podcast. There's some pretty cool stuff in there, I think, because I curated the collection. But... <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I put the first one. I watched that at work. Um, yeah. I, got a, I have two likes, which surprised me. I don't know who the second like was. I know you were one of them. Cause oh, yeah. You were the first person to respond to it. I have two subscribers, too, which is kind of cool. I subscribe to your new YouTube channel, too. Uh, I have to start doing stuff again. It's mostly yeah. guitar building videos. Well, you have you have your new channel that has... Uh, is that Buddy? With a cup on his head? or Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a chili cup from Davenport's. Okay, because that's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't done anything yet. I want to make a new... Lo- I got to make a logo. Right now, I'm just using my Cryptopedia picture. Okay. But. Uh, our art was done by Tom Hill. You can find him on Instagram at Thomas Michael Hill. His website is greatergloryco.com. His email is tommikehill at gmail.com. And thank you to shared on Insta. He just did um, some art for uh, Dave Attell. Oh, really? He does yeah. some really good stuff. I mean, that's why we paid him money to do our artwork. Yeah. Because we, we, we like the stuff that he does. Yeah. <laughs> well, that and we know him. Yeah, that too. We've known him... God, since a middle while. school, yeah, yeah. There's Jeez. some the other day in Kingston. I saw. I think I saw him recently too, just yeah. walking around. I didn't. I haven't talked to him in a while, but I saw him. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Not really. Actually, because we live in the same area. Not that weird at all. Actually, complete opposite of weird. Completely yeah. expected. We all <laughs> live in close proximity. Yeah. Um. As always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are going to get weird.